was good skins fan so today i do want to talk about the undrafted free agents i know we talked about them last night uh didn't go in depth with the undrafted free agents so i want to talk about we already talked about thaddeus moss and and i love the signing of undrafted free agent thaddeus moss also in this video i want to talk about the numbers that were given out to the rookies and the numbers that were given out to the undrafted free agents so uh, we'll get into that in a second but um, the undrafted free agents, okay, you know, I try to break them down and, and, and name some guys. We only saw, we only signed four, and there there's actually six roster spots available. So that means we probably will be signing a veteran. I don't know if it's going to be a veteran corner or a veteran, maybe another tight end, who knows, or a veteran left tackle. You know, I like Sadiq Charles, and uh, I know the tight end room, nobody really stands out, but it's, it's pretty crowded. So uh, we'll get into the undrafted free agents. I think there's about $37 million in cash space available now since we let go of Trent Williams, since we traded him away. Um, so uh, the first guy, of course, is Thaddeus Moss. That was an A-plus signing for uh, for our undrafted free agent class. You know, 40 catches, straight cash on me, has hands like his dad. Didn't have any drops in college at LSU last year in that championship run. Uh, 40 catches for like 470 yards and, and like, five touchdowns, two touchdowns in the national championship game. So Thad Moss is a great undrafted signing. I think he will make the roster, and I think he will eventually start by week five. I got to start by week five. I don't think it's going to be hard to beat out um, Jeremy Sprinkle. I don't think it's going to be hard to beat out Richard Rodgers, who was on IR last year and, and two years ago. I think for the last two years, a year and a half, he's been on IR. Uh, I know his dad is coaching, so Richard Rodgers will probably make the team. And then Logan Thomas, he's okay. I mean, he has potential. And then I like Hale Hinges a lot. So all the guys that I would keep would be Hale Hinges, Thaddeus Moss, and um, Logan Thomas. Those would be the three tight ends I, that I would keep. And then I think Richard Rodgers will probably make the team because his dad is a coach. So uh, we'll see about that. And then we did pick up um, Isaiah Ray out of Temple, who's electrifying. Uh, the guy is lit. He's a human highlight film. Can return punts, return kicks. Is awesome at that. Uh, put up some crazy numbers, all-purpose numbers. It's kind of similar to Antonio, Antonio Gibson, if you will, because he's a wide receiver and he can play running back as well. Now, only thing about Isaiah Ray is he's had some drop problems. He has some route running problems, uh, fumble problems here and there. But, I mean, look, look at this guy's numbers that he put up. It is crazy, man. It, it really is. I mean, his sophomore year, he led the team in catches uh, for receiving yards. Now, they're not crazy numbers, you know, with the receiving numbers, but... He had some good games. I mean, Isaiah Wright had some good, good numbers. His sophomore year, 46 catches for 668 yards, um, four touches. It was not crazy numbers, but Temple, I think they ran the ball a lot more than what they threw the football. And then uh, his his senior year, he had 47 catches for 442 yards and five touchdowns and ran the ball pretty well, too. And in his sophomore year, 25 rushes for 188 yards. Freshman year was 42 rushes for 232 for 232 yards. So the guy is used. He kind of reminds me of Antonio Gibson, you know, a little bit running back and wide receiver, you know, doing both at the same time. So, I mean, he, he was a great kick returner, had a 90 yard, 99 yard kickoff return touchdown at UConn and became the fourth all time in career kick return yards at 1,862 for a Temple. So the, the guy put up big numbers. Ran back punts for touchdowns. I mean, the guy did it all. I mean, Isaiah Wright is just electrifying. He's a human highlight film. But like I said, the problem was with fumbling and dropping uh, the football, dropping catches, not great hands, uh, and not as fast as he really looked, you know. So that's the only problem with Isaiah Wright. Is he going to make the team? He, he could make that last spot. Man, he's, he's going to be battling against Cam Sims and, and Trey Quinn for the last roster spot for, for wide receivers. So, We'll see if he makes the team. Uh, another guy, low key that we that we signed, Jonathan Johnson out of Mizzou, the wide receiver. If you watch his, I'm gonna put his highlights and Isaiah Wright's highlights in the bottom, um, in the in the in the description. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, Jonathan Johnson, they call him JJ Johnson. He's speedy. He looks exactly like Steve Sims on film. The guy can run, man. He he can really run, very quick, very speedy. Didn't have a great senior year because Drew Locke was his quarterback. Drew Locke left. Um, he had a big junior year. He had 59 catches for 737 yards and five touchdowns. That guy, I mean, you, you look at the yards per catch. He he was a special teamer, great punt returner, great kick returner. Once again, he's he's just like Steven Sims. He really, I can see him making the team, possibly over Isaiah Wright. If you watch this film, this guy is a blur on camera. I like uh, Jonathan Johnson a lot. I like him a lot, man. Um, reading some other notes on him, he was one of the most explosive re receiving threats in the receiving threats in the SEC 
as well in the nation who dialed in long distance quite often from Mizzou's quick attack offense. He ended the season with 41 catches and 724 yards. So that's a lot of yards per catch uh, right there. He Four of his touchdowns were from 65 yards out or longer. So this guy is a speed demon. He can stretch the field, plays a lot of slot. Just like, he's basically Steve Sims. That's, that's what he is. So the only reason why I don't see these guys making the team is because we already have Steve Sims. We already have Antonio Gibson uh, being the role of what Isaiah Wright would be and then being in the role with J.J. Johnson would be. We already have Steve Sims for that. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't see him make the team. I mean, I think the, the way too early to predict, I think the five receivers making the team is probably – Terry, Steve, um, Calvin, Harmon, AGG, and uh, Cody Latimer. Those will probably be the five receivers making the team. And maybe Isaiah Wright might be the sixth guy, or they'll probably be on the practice squad. Um, and then, of course, you got you got a guy like Emmanuel Hall waiting at a Mizzou who ran a four three forty, who was cre- he put up crazy numbers at a Mizzou. He's on the practice squad, you know. And Darvin Kinsey's not that he's not gonna make the team, but Darvin Kinsey is on the practice squad too. So we we got a lot of receivers. And the last the last guy we signed was Stephen Montez out of Colorado. Um, very erratic, you know, was a gunslinger, made some bad decisions here and there, didn't win a lot of games, went five and seven uh, each of the three seasons. He started at Colorado, had LaVisca Chenault as a wide receiver, and still didn't get it done. He had like 17 touchdowns and 10 picks uh, last year, which is not great. Um, what else? Six for four, 235 pounds, four, six, 40, very speedy. He should be at best a third string uh, quarterback for the team and uh, or practice squad quarterback for the team. So I, I don't I kind of like Steven Montez. He's not bad out of Colorado. He's not bad. He's, he's really a gunslinger. So um, I don't really see him. Either. I see him being practice squad. And then we'll get to the numbers, man. I got my old Lavernius Coles jersey on, man. This is limited edition old Lavernius. I don't know why I have a Lavernius Coles jersey, but I, my friend, one of my good friends, dad, got me this jersey. I went to the Redskins game. We actually bought it from the Redskins store and got this jersey. But we'll go over the numbers real quick. So, of course, Chase Young's get 99, so that's pretty cool. Um, Caleb Brantley gave up that number. You already know Caleb Brantley had to give up that number. Caleb Brantley barely even plays uh, here and there. He's all he's usually he has he was injured on IR last year. Antonio Gibson got number twenty four, so that's pretty cool. My man Sadiq Charles got seventy seven. I think Sadiq should have got seventy one just to stick it to Trent Williams. Antonio Gandy Golden AGG got number ten. I like that number a lot. I might have to purchase. I, have to, I might have to make a purchase on that one. I like that's that's my favorite one. I don't. I like Chase Young getting ninety nine, but number ten is pretty cool. Seeing the Gandy Golden on the back of the jersey and the number 10, that, that should be pretty cool. I can't wait to see AGG play. Keith Ishmael got 60. Kalika Hudson got number 47. Cameron Crow got 31. Jay Smith Williams, number 72. Some of the guys in the back end of the draft that I don't even think will make the team. Um, Steven Montez, number 6. Like I said, practice squad. Jonathan Johnson, number 12. Thaddeus Moss, straight cash, homie, uh, is wearing number 46 for right now. Isaiah Wright's wearing number 83. And Caleb Branley is wearing number 96, who gave it up to uh, Chase Young. Gave up his number. And then Caleb Wilson uh, will be switching from 83 to number 45. So those are the numbers right there. You guys let me know. Of course, a lot of people are going to be getting the Chase Young jersey. So, um, And then, like I said, we have $37 million in cash space. So let me know what, what free agents you guys think we should go after. Should we go after a left tackle uh, in free agency? The only person that's really left is Jason Peters, and his agent is Vincent Taylor. So who is Trent Williams' agent, so we probably won't be getting him. And uh, like I said, I mean, let me know what jersey you guys plan on getting, man. Uh, I'll see if that Thaddeus Moss jersey is cheap. Might have to get that number 46. But I do like the AGG number 10. Chase Young, everybody's going to get Chase Young, but I, I like the AGG. That's that's the sleeper right there. I like the AGG number 10. So let me know what you guys think, man. Hail to them skins. Peace.